All right, maybe getting a little bit worried here. The Timberwolves have woken up the dragon, and they all ran away, pissing down their leg, leaving Anthony Edwards to try to slay it by himself. Lose at home for the second game in a row in target center against the Nuggets by eight in this game. And I'll talk about why eight is a very significant number. It is not only the amount of free throws that the Timberwolves lost in this game, but also just a brutal, heartbreaking sequence of an 8-0 run from the Nuggets in the last 27 seconds of the first half. And it just shows so demonstrably how important the little things are and how every detail adds up in the playoffs and why it's been a concern with this Wolves team all year. You see the highest of highs with this team, how good we can be, and you saw that in the first two games of this series. But for you to be a championship-level team, you need sustained greatness. You need to penalize people when they make those tiny little slip-ups, points off turnovers. We had very similar uh, turnover numbers teams between this one, either identical or difference of one. Uh, The Nuggets actually had one more turnover than the Wolves. However, there were nine more points off of the Wolves' turnovers than the Nuggets. We're getting punished for our mistakes. And we're making more severe ones that can be punished. And that end of the first half, you just kind of felt like they lost the game right there. It was a lot tighter than game three, where it just was a mess start to finish. In this one, we were competitive early. Denver gets on their big run. We have possessions where Carl Anthony Towns is isoing on the perimeter, on the wing, against an elite defender in Aaron Gordon. The worst Timberwolves offense for three straight fucking seasons, and we're still going to it. And those possessions were horrifying, as was Carl Anthony Towns' play throughout this game in general. I'll get more on that later. But that's when the Nuggets go on their run. They take the lead, get it to double double digits. Wolves still battling, and we get it down to seven points with about 30 seconds left in the half. Nuggets, KCP hits a three. Only jumper he didn't hit in the night, although everyone in Denver was hitting all types of jump shots. They've got it all back and running. Aaron Gordon and Justin Holiday don't know how to miss in this series, and it's very frustrating, especially Aaron Gordon just drilling everything. Nuggets hit a three, and in 27 seconds, shot clock's off. Anthony Edwards... Should be able to just dribble out, take the last shot. Instead, turns it over, gets to be a layup for the Nuggets. Turnover, Jamal Murray, ridiculous half-court shot after a step-through hypes up to the announcement table. Objectively, an incredibly sweet moment, but absolutely bone-crushing for this Wolves team. And those eight points that we give up in those 27 seconds, the amount we lose this game by amount of free throws we miss just devastating and Anthony Edwards was so special all throughout it and keeping us in that one I'm gonna fix the hat now I still don't have to look all disheveled like this all the way through Ant was just brilliant the jumper was seriously on tonight it just it shows kind of the different levels of star there can be in the NBA and Ant is one of those tier ones he is that type of player a franchise changer and the nuggets got that too with Nikola Jokic the scary part is the second star Jamal Murray all throughout the playoffs he's been doing that as a playoff player sure he had some rough game one game two against us but he's going to elevate and I trust him to continue to do that continue to hit those big shots to show up our second star Carl Anthony Towns, he's been doing this in the playoffs. It's been his career of showing up like this. He had some good games in the playoffs this year. Feeling like it can turn around, but this feels more like what you're, you expect a little bit. I don't trust Carl Anthony Towns to show up as frequently and to the level that Jamal Murray does. And we need the others to step up if that's going to be the case. Not in this one. 27 bench points for the Nuggets to 13 for the Wolves. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, who's been absolutely brilliant in these playoffs on both ends, 
jump shots kind of run dry in these last two games. Not even close on a lot of his shots. Don't know what's going on with that, but he provided no offensive help for us in this one. Nas Reed did, yet he only gets 19 minutes in this game while Cat had, I think, 38. I'll double check that real quick. But with almost every really bad Cat game, you can tell things are off to start. He was 0 for 7 to start this one. 5 of 18 for the game, 13 points, and three really bad fouls. Even the commentators are like, that is just a horrible foul right there for someone who historically has bad foul trouble issues, and the immaturity was present. The focus, absent. The discipline, the, uh, like, the leadership, not there. And you can see Anthony Edwards franchise changer how he steps up how he keeps grinding how he shows up we can rely on him carl anthony towns sure in the right situation he can become elite he's got ultimate talent different players and uh different levels and i just it's it's concerning we we need more people to step up on this team and drop in both games at home Usually your role players perform better at home. Absolutely not the case for us in this series. The home team has lost every game, though. So at least we did that to Denver, too. It's the NBA. It's life. So things can switch on their head seemingly without reason. Uh, but it is not good vibes right now. These Each of these games has been ugly. Um, Anthony Edwards just being... Absolutely brilliant, making incredible shots, drilling jumpers, being a killer and on top of his game all the way through. Helped us to just tread water throughout this game and keep it manageable. So if we could finally get stops and go on a run, we'd have a shot. That never happened. Ant was amazing. But we could never fully make a real run because Denver shot making was just insane. Jokic drilling everything. I was disappointed in our big men for how they defended in this game. I didn't think they imposed their will at all. They were not aggressors, like I pointed out in game one, game two, which was really impressive. And what made Jokic look a little uncomfortable at times, we kind of forced some things to happen on defense. This game, it felt like we were just let letting him shoot, trying not to foul, not really contesting, not being physical, and it was a very unimpressive defensive effort, especially from our big men, and that was sad to see. Uh, I mean, there's a couple good possessions out of Gobert, but as a whole, that was, uh, it was just lame. Just lame. Nuggets were able to have their big runs, uh, in our defense, there, there were, I think, two different times in that game where they made seven straight field goals. And we have our droughts. When we try to run things through Cat, things kind of collapsed. And also, we just put them in the wrong spots in the court. I mean, it's it's been the same thing with Cat for years of, hey, put him in the right spots. He's going to excel. He's an unstoppable to guard. But you put him on the perimeter, on the wing, he's going to self-destruct a lot of times. We saw that we can't keep making these mistakes. The margin for error, the margin for error is extremely minuscule against a team like Denver, and now we got to go back and beat them in a best of three series with two games in Denver. We got to step up. Timberwolves, I don't think lost three games in a row in the entire regular season. Hopefully that carries through the postseason. Or oh boy, we're in trouble. Wilson seven. I hope. Peace out.